No Philippine history can be complete without a study of Muslim development. How did Islam come to the archipelago? Numerous, uh, since the time the Spaniards came, have been fighting for the preservation of their independence. Lapu Lapu preferred fire and blood instead of miserable submission to Christianity. Just parang sabil, you do not engage in parang sabil if you are if you are not uh, pure. Fear will come in when you hear the cannons, you hear the firearms of the Americans. There will be fear and you should not run away from it. That is the concept of Parang Sabil to the thousands. It is hard to believe that Manila was once firmly under Muslim heel. Muslims controlled the seat of government, the wealth and the trade. The Sultanate of Sulu through the port of Holo. Holo was an international uh, port which was engaged in international trading. In the elementary grades, thought only about Rizal, about Vini, about Bonifacio. The Maranaos went down to Iligan, where the Spaniards were ready preparing for the invasion. Uh, they attacked the Spaniards. So that was the beginning of the resistance of the people of Pranao because of that speech made by Sultan Kudarat. Kung magkakaroon ng constitutional convention, kung magkakaroon ng independence, masali sila sa Philippine government, dapat guaranteed na preserve at saka protected ang Islam, ang religion meron sila. The Moro-Spanish War to last 327 years. Physically, culturally, in terms of religion, in terms of fighting spirit of the Moros, the Moros were really unconquered by the Spaniards. Who are we? How did we live before the arrival of Western colonizers? Where was our place of origin? These are but a few questions that we seek to address. The call of our forefathers, a brief history of Islam in the Philippines. Ooh.